I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. Derek destroys his opponent. If you guys can pronounce it, cool. But I don't need that stress in my life. I've tried it a few times. Becca Loba is what I'll call him. You know, Derek came out smoking, looking like Joe Frazier. <laughs> Backed his opponent into the ropes. His opponent couldn't get off the ropes. He tried to use his legs like he tried to use his legs against Dillian White. He didn't throw any jazz with any intention. There was nothing to keep Derek off him. So Derek just marched in as he pleased. Derek threw one overhand right at the guy, which he partially blocked, which he completely blocked. And um, he cut the ring down on the guy, tracked down his movement by keeping his left foot outside his opponent's right. And he backed his opponent onto the ropes again. Big swinging overhand right, ended the fight 29 seconds in. It was over. There's not much to report, really. And that was that. Derek weighed in at 18 stone, which is his heaviest weight in a minute for a few years. And I have to say, the trajectory on the shot was much improved from previous overhand rights I've seen Derek throw. So I don't know if Gary Ines, his new trainer, has anything to do with that. No disrespect to Don Charles. You know, I think they went as far as they could. And sometimes fighters need to see a new setting a new angle a new fresh start and it's as simple as that you know they went as far as they could it's not like Derek is just switching trainers switching trainers him and Don were very loyal with each other stuck it out through thick and thin when they was writ off and went as far as they went and Derek I guess he's back you know I'm not going to go too mad because it was a fight set up for Derek to look good but this is the most devastating fashion that this guy has been knocked out and this is the earliest he's been knocked out as well He's been in with Hellenius. Hellenius took a few rounds to get it done. I think it was a TKO. And um, Dillian took four before he caught up with the guy who was just running around the ring in Northern Ireland, I believe that was. But Derek didn't allow that. Derek, more experienced and seasoned than Dillian, he got it done in one round. He got it done in one round. And the right hand is a really good right hand. It's one of the best right hands we've seen in recent times i'm not going to get too carried away once again because of the opponent but you know landed a really good shot so we'll see what kind of matchmaking frank warren can come up with Derek and what derrick has got left in the tank and how much ambition Derek wants to fight top 10 opponents that's what i heard him say on ifl london Derek's not the type to hang about to fight mediocre opponents that's never been Derek's style even in Derek's um formative fights in his 17th, 16th fights. He was fighting Vitali Klitschko and going the distance, getting robbed by Hellenius abroad. And uh, he's a fighting man. There's one thing about Derek. He gets knocked out by Hay, gets stopped by Fury, took his time out. But he's back. He wants to fight. And that's all Derek wants to be allowed to do is fight. So 29 seconds into the first. Derek will be happy with that. Derek's supporters will be happy. British boxing... It's good for British boxing. It's good for world boxing to have one of the characters back in the game. And um, Derek wanted Povetkin, if anyone can remember, when he had the European belt. But Frank Warren voted against it. And instead, he ended up taking on Tyson Fury. But, you know, we can't blame Frank, you know, because if the fighter picks the opponent over the promoter's wishes and it goes belly up, then we blame the promoter. So it is what it is. But Derek would fight Povetkin. Even now, Derek won't be in awe of Povetkin knocking people out. Derek will go in there and fight. And I don't know if he can beat the guy, but I think it would be quite interesting, personally. I think it would be interesting. And Derek will obviously be in better shape than 18 Stone next time out. So we'll see. It's always interesting with Derek. The only fight that he hasn't been competitive in was the last Tyson Fury fight, to be honest. So we have to give him a fair shot in trying to attempt this comeback. Little to report in terms of fight action. Like I said, he jabbed to head and body, backed his man up, did what he had to do. The overhand right landed, clean KO. His opponent had that Lykovic thing going where, where the leg started spazzing involuntarily out of control. Not as violently as Lykovic, but similar effect, similar effect. The right leg started trying to feel for life <laughs> all by itself, you know what I mean? The right leg wanted to do its own thing. <laughs> it looked like it was trying to leave his body. Crazy shit. Peace out.